this is going to be a hopefully a short lecture the basic idea is to construct your topology and the set of integers and that in itself is a very good exercise and we use this topology to prove that the primes are infinite equals result okay this proof is due to one great mathematician first and berg okay and there are variations of this proof also but we will take it up some other time okay so let us go back let us first quickly recall in one of the earlier lectures i have done that if xd is a metric space okay how did you generate the metric topology right okay what we had was the class of open ball bxr where x is in capital x and r is positive we use this to construct a sub class of subsets we had a u a subset of x okay so that okay for each x in u if u is non empty if u is empty that doesn't matter okay there is an r positive r equal to r of x positive so that bxr is contained in u of course x belong to u right to show this uh, this is a topology the crucial thing has two things how did you construct the topology therefore this is same as saying notice that if u belong to tau then u is union of bx r okay bx r as x varies over u this we found rx okay you understand that yeah okay so that's how you define u now how do you show by very construction okay notice that if uh, yeah, empty set belong to that x belong to tau and tau is close under arbitrary inter unions to show it's a close under finite intersection what we did was the following if u and v are in tau and suppose x belong to u intersection v okay then x belong to u therefore by we know that there exists an r1 such so that bx r1 is contained in u and there is an r2 such so that bx r2 is contained in u therefore there exists uh, if i take r to be minimum of r1 and r2 then bx r will be contained in u intersection v therefore for every x i hope on this okay let us try to abstract what we did this also tells us how to generate a topology suppose x is just a set and b is a collection of subsets okay and this b is going to play the role of all open balls in metric space so what are the conditions i need the first condition i need is for every x in x okay there is a b in script b so that x belong to script b so x belong to b this is same as saying the union of elements in script b equal to x that is union b b in script b equal to x okay and the second condition i need is the following whenever x belong to let b1 b2 belong to script b and let x belong to b1 intersection b2 okay then i want to know there is an a, a b in script b so that x belong to b and b is contained in b1 intersection b2 do you recognize this this is what we just now did okay bx r1 is contained in u bx r2 is contained in b then i can find another bx r which is so I cut it in u intersection v and x belong to bxr you follow that okay so suppose i have set x with this script b a family of subsets satisfying these two properties then i want to show we can define a topology okay then we can define a topology okay on u so we say tau okay we define tau 
as follows. If I subset u of x, then you, when is u is in tau? Okay, that simply means for every x in u, there exists a b in screw b such that x belongs to b and b is if you want bx and bx is contained in u. This is the same as saying u is a union of a subfamily of b. Okay, b is a family of subsets. Okay, we will call it a generating set. Okay, Gen generating generating set or generating class. Okay, generating class of subsets. Okay, is that clear? Now, what do you want to do? We want to show this tau is a topology. So we define tau. When is a set u a subset of x going to be in tau? If it is empty, there is nothing to prove it will be there. Otherwise, for every x in u, I should be able to find a member of the script B, the subfamily, such so that x belongs to Bx and Bx is contained in u. Therefore, u is union of union Bx as x varies over u. Do you understand that? u equal to union of Bx, x in u. Okay. Now, I want to say it is a topology. Of course, empty set belongs to tau. Because if it's not there, what does it mean? There is an x in empty set such that this does not happen. But that cannot happen. Alright? Because empty set, there is no x. Therefore, empty set belongs to that. And x belong to that. Why x belong to tau? That's because of the first condition. Yeah? Because we wrote that x is going to be union of members of script B. Yeah? Right. Next, arbitrary union. Suppose ui i and i is a collection of, of tau then i want to know whether union ui whether it i and i does it belong to tau okay that's very easy why let x belong to this if it's empty nothing to prove suppose x belong to that that means there exists a j in i so that x belong to uj but where does uj uj lies in tau that means there exists bx in script b so that x belongs to b and b is contained in uj. Let me write this b. Yeah. Therefore, what I have done for each x in the union, okay, there exists a b so that x belongs to b and b is contained in union ui. Right? Remember, uj is a subset of union ui. Okay? So, the family tau is closed under arbitrary union. Next, suppose u and v are in tau. I want to know whether u intersection v is in tau. Is it a member of the topology? Yeah? That's again easy. Suppose x belongs to u intersection v. Then I know there is a B1 so that X belongs to B1 which is contained in U. X belongs to B2 which is contained in V. Therefore X belongs to B1 intersection B2. Do you understand that? Yeah? Right. Now what is the second condition? Second condition said whenever X belongs to B1 intersection B2 I can find a B so that X belongs to B and B is contained in B1 intersection B2. Therefore, by 2, there exists a B in script B so that X belongs to B and B is contained in B1 intersection B2. Right? Is it alright? Okay. Now, what do I know about B1 intersection B2? That is contained in U intersection B. Yeah? Right. But because if Z belong to B1 intersection B2, X belong to B1, therefore it's contained in U, and Z belong to B2, therefore it's contained in B, therefore Z belong to U intersection B, etc. Do you understand that? So what have we shown that? Therefore we have shown for each X in U intersection B, there exists a B such that X belong to B, and B is contained in U intersection B, right? Therefore, for each X in B, U intersection B, there exists a B in script B, so that x belong to b 
and B is contained in U under station B. Right? And when does U under station B belong to tau? Just go back to the definition. When some element is in tau, you for each x in that particular set, I can find a B in the generating set, in the generating class, so that x belongs to B and B is contained in the given set. That's what you approve. We wanted to prove U under section e. B is open, we proved it. Do you understand this? Okay, pause, review, proceed. Learn this construction very well. This is okay. You will see how many times you are you going to use this construction in our course. Okay, this is a most important construction. I am given a set. I have a family of subsets script B with the two properties. Then I know how to define a topology. Right? And what is the first important thing? Any member of the topology is going to be union of elements of the given family script B. That's what it says. Okay. Now we are ready to look at the example. Let my x equal to z. Yeah? Right. Now given any x in z and any r a natural number okay i want to define bxr so the, i'm just writing bxr just to uh, intuitively think of this it's an open ball but if you want you can also write it uxr it's okay the well, how is it defined this is going to be the collection of all x plus m times r or r times m as m varies over z this is in other words this is going to be x plus r times z you understand that yeah have you seen this somewhere yeah notice that when r is here r times z is a subgroup of the group z therefore this is a coset of the subgroup or z you understand that yeah okay now what we want to do is this our script p is going to be collection of all such things bxr where x is a, an integer and r is a natural number notice that these are all arithmetic progressions for example what will be your uh, uh, b25 b25 will be start with the 2 and multiples of 5 i have to add 7 12 and so on here minus 3 and minus 5 minus 8 and so on so this is arithmetic progression okay starting with the 2 and common differences 5 all right yeah Many of you may not have realized, right? The, the, the coset of Z, okay, with respect to the standard subgroup R Z, they are nothing as an arithmetic progression which you learned in high school. Very good. Is that clear? Okay. Now I want to say, okay, script B is a generating class. What does it mean? I have to show B satisfies two properties that's very easy all right yeah so give, given any x and h is an integer okay can you think of a class where it will be that will be all right because you start with any r a natural number then remember that the x belong to bxr why because what what are bxr bxr is x plus m times r what is m m is any integer in particular i can take m to be zero do you understand that therefore x always lies in bxr that you know in the course at x plus r z x h x must be an element right that's all we are using is that clear therefore b satisfies one right what did it say let's look at the condition one just to make sure that you follow that 
for each x there is a b so that x belong to b have i showed that yes and what is the next one i have to show i have to show you b1 okay sorry b x r and b y s these are the two elements okay if there is a z here okay what do i want to show hmm? i want to show that there exists you have b in script b so that x belong sorry z belong to b and b is contained in bxr intersection bos do you understand that go slow okay if you are this is the first time you are looking at such things you yeah. okay the first thing is what does it mean to say z belong to bxr what is bxr it is nothing other than the coset right so if z belong to bxr if and only if yeah this coset is nothing other than z plus rz do you understand that right do you remember if g is a group h is a subgroup and a h if b belong to a h then a h is same as b h right here in, in group theory we must have seen it anyway i'll give a proof in a minute it's very easy okay so what do i want to claim i want to claim if z belong to b x sorry x plus r z implies x plus r z is same as z plus r z right why that's very easy to show this to our equal what do i have to do right when is a h equal to b h you know the answer right if one of you this is x plus r times m should be z plus r some r times n that means x minus z must be equal to let me just make sure i am writing it rightly n minus m right yeah but z belong to x plus r z is same as saying z is of the form x plus some r times k you understand that yeah so z belongs to x times r plus k is same as saying z minus x is r k therefore it is of the form r times z therefore these two elements okay the coset of z plus r z is same as x plus r z are you convinced just make sure take some time because you may not have seen such things in <laughs> group theory possibly <laughs> yeah okay it's just an abstract result you just go ahead all right so this is a crucial thing so therefore what is our thing we have said it belong to bx r intersection bys but this is nothing as than okay x plus r z therefore it is nothing other than z plus r z intersection z plus s z do you understand this therefore z belong to this right now what do i want right remember r z is a subgroup s z is a subgroup so what all i want is i want to say x belong to some z plus some t z okay so i have a subset r z and i have a subgroup s z okay right any element must be in this intersection so what do you what do you know if i take t to be gc lcm okay or you want r times s of r s okay or you can even take r times s i don't care you understand that yeah so let us look at this as your b then i claim this z of course belong to b and i claim b is contained in z plus r z intersection z plus s z is that clear why because start with any element here it is of the form x plus t times n but t is a okay is lcm of r and s therefore i can write as t z plus t dash into r 
right if you take r times s itself it's okay then i can simply write r times s are you following what i'm saying therefore this belong to z plus rz yeah similarly it also belong to this therefore what do you think i have shown okay i have shown that script b is a generating class or a topology okay called tau to be the topology generated by b which you have defined earlier okay right now we just have to make only two observations suppose so when does u belong to tau you remember if and only for each x in u okay there is an r positive that so that x plus r times z is contained in u do you remember that x belong to bx r and that's contained in u i am writing like that is it okay okay now suppose u is a non empty open set non empty okay tau open that is it's an a member of tau okay then necessarily u is infinite because why because if non empty then x belong to some there exists an x which belong to u therefore there exists the entire thing which belong to u which is contained in u this is an infinite set because remember why this infinite set because r is natural number if r is zero you can't do that yeah okay and the next thing is um uh, yeah now let's look at any bxr that is x plus rz okay can be written as okay some let us say this is i have written r therefore i would write something else okay j plus rz where zero less than or equal to j less than r minus 1 remember r is a natural number right can i take r to be 1 yeah can i take r to be 1 it, it means it's a full set okay there is nothing okay do you follow that so if you want you can even take r to be greater than or equal to 2 okay now let's look at this is this clear right okay now why this is true because right here is okay as multiple of r plus j by division algorithm i know i can do this this is the division algorithm all right therefore x minus j is a multiple of r therefore it belongs to rz therefore x plus rz will be same as j plus rz do you follow that all right all right now therefore i know the set of the subgroup the group z is a union of disjoint classes namely j plus rz where j runs from 0 to r minus 1 right this is the coarser decomposition right now what do i know i know each one of them is open because this is nothing other than bjr right these are all open right now therefore start fix a j then bxr sorry bx bjr is closed why this is closed what is its complement z minus bjr or is nothing other than union of i plus rz why i is not equal to j and i run from 0 to r minus 1 
do you follow that okay All right so what you have shown is each so if you don't know like this I, cl I claim that complement if you are not use the word if we are not introduce the word close then complement of BJR is also open because it is a finite union of open sets but we know arbitrary union of open sets is open are you following keep that in mind right right now what we want to do is the following right now start with any number integer such that n is not equal to plus or minus one then we know there exists a prime divisor there is a prime so that p divides n right that's a fundamental theorem right any okay integer any natural number greater than one is divisible by a prime and hence any natural number okay any integer other than plus or minus one is also admits a prime divisor right therefore if you look at z minus plus or minus one equal to union of z times p where p runs over all primes p is set, set of primes do you accept it or r times z p times z where p runs over all p because i am writing r times z so let me write it like this yeah very good now what do you know about this set now suppose okay remember pz is nothing other than b0 p right therefore these are all open therefore this side is an open set yeah very good therefore suppose p is suppose the set of primes right then what do i know this is anyway the right side p z as p over is power p is open right therefore what do i know z minus plus r minus 1 is also open because they are equal right okay right very good now let's look at the complement take complements okay then what do i know the complement of the left side z minus plus r minus 1 take its complement that's going to be plus r minus 1 right and this is the left side let's look at the right side what is the right side it is p of z where p is over p where we are assuming p is finite right therefore the complement of rhs is intersection pz complement and p varying over p do you understand this yeah now what do i know about pz I said PZ is open. Remember, BXR is open and its complement is also open, right? And this is nothing other than B0P. This is open, therefore its complement is open. Therefore, this is open. Each one of this is open. And how many intersection I am taking? If I assume P is finite, if P is finite, what do I conclude? This is also open being a finite intersection of open set this is open right but rhs lhs complement is plus or minus one okay therefore it is open because lhs complement equal to rhs complement but rhs complement is open therefore this is open but what did you see here if you give me any non empty open set it must always be infinite right 
but we have shown that if I assume the set of prime numbers is finite then this is an open set and hence this is an open set that's a contradiction therefore this contradiction shows this peak cannot be finite it has to be infinite okay so as an exercise to make sure okay PRP as an exercise do similar thing where take x equal to natural numbers they are drastically different in the topological properties okay in some later lectures I will come to come back to this again do the same thing bxr now and x is also r is also in yeah so look at this and show that this is a generating class and look at the topology and use this topology now remember set of natural numbers that's a set not all integers and again conclude that the set of primes is infinite the proof is exactly similar to what we did to me okay the best way to understand my proof is okay go through this whenever you have difficulty go back to my proof understand come back and do that here that's the best way of learning okay so I hope all of you enjoyed it could be slightly tough because I'm mixing topology and algebra but it will be worthwhile I'm sure all of you will enjoy this take care stay safe